All right, hey guys. Today, it rained a ton yesterday, so the crayfish should be pretty active. So today we're gonna do a video on how to fish a jig. Um, we're going, right now I'm gonna talk about like what kind of rod is ideal for fishing a jig. Uh, I'd say like seven foot to seven six, medium heavy or heavy, depends on what you're doing. Um, and a reel with a six three to one gear ratio. This has um, five three to one, so it won't be that great. Uh, today we don't have ideal rods for jig fishing, but we're gonna see what we can do. And the best line for jig fishing would be either a heavy fluoro, like 15 and up, or just braid. Let's get fishing. All right guys, so we're out here about to fish the jigs and um, just wanted to talk a little bit about the jigs. Right now I'm using a football jig, kind of a finesse jig, almost an all-around jig, but um, yeah. So what you're gonna wanna look for is you're gonna wanna look for a weed guard like this, not a plastic one that goes over the hook because they'll break easily. We saw that in our MTB slam with the jig that we got last time. Um, you're gonna wanna try to match your, your craw color to the actual jig, but you don't need to. Just use a neutral color if you're not gonna match it. So let's get fishing it. Uh, there are a lot of ways to fish a jig, but for this kind of a jig, or of an all-around jig, you're going to want to try to pitch it under a place where you think a bass will be. Ideally, docks are good. Um, under trees can be good, too. What you want to do is you're going to want to you're gonna wanna pitch it where you think a bass will be. Let it sit for a second, because a lot of times they'll hit it on the fall. And then just pop, pop, pause. Pop, pop, pause, pop, pop. Or you can also do a steady retrieve on the bottom, like a crayfish would. And be careful when you're popping it, because you don't want to get it too high off the ground, because the crayfish normally wouldn't get too high off, off the ground. So, that's that's the way to fish this kind of a jig. A swim jig, kind of like a spinner bait or a, or a chatter bait, either a steady retrieve or a little pop pop once in a while. Um, finesse jig or I guess a punching jig mostly a punching jig you want to punch it into heavy cover like something like this and just let it and pop it a little bit bounce it off cover a lot of times if you find a rock or a stick and you bounce it off there a bunch you'll get a fish so those are just different ways to fish a jig What's that, do you think? Yeah, take the camera real quick. Alright guys, just got this guy. We're about, just only fished for about two minutes. Less. No, it's about two minutes. But, as you can see, I punched it into heavy cover, let it sit there, felt the bite, set the hook hard, you want to set the hook really hard to get the fish out of there. A little dink, but hopefully we can get another one. Yeah, but I let it sit there, pop it a little bit, set the hook hard, that's what you want to do with the jig. Um, pull up Pitt Creek, and I pitched it, I saw the fish first. I think he's four, four and a half. I think I think he's four and a half, maybe a little more. Three pounds, eleven ounces. Is there a hole in his mouth? pounds 13 ounces that's a good fish good jig fish hey guys another good fish on the jig sorry there's no live footage on this how do i do this <laughs> uh, yeah, 
pounds exactly. So that's three pound twelve ounces and a three pounder. This one's missing an eye. Got him on the jig. That's jig fishing for you. <laughs>